Hello, Nomads Kalbt, and this is a nice to know thing. I think, uh, okay, um, it's called Symmetry Everywhere. So, so when you have such um, a voxel remeshed object and you press here on the symmetry, so you see here the symmetry is now here, but you want hear the symmetry, a radial symmetry or a mirror symmetry. Okay, so yeah, in in the symmetry menu, there's here a symmetry edit um, uh, option here, gizmo edit. You can use this, but uh, in this uh, video, it's not about this option here, it's about other option. So, okay, how to get the symmetry at this position. So here use the insert tool and select here is, uh, the cylinder for example and so here you have to find a little bit um, the center point yourself so I start here and insert here the cylinder and the cylinder has its own symmetry so here at this position and the next step is, here is your object you want the symmetry to apply it on and then select the cylinder as second option and then join, press join. So now the symmetry is here on this position. And here in this option, in the three dots menu here, you can separate now the object and select, um, yeah, I select the, um, the cylinder and the, uh, yeah, see the other node here, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's called group node, yeah, oh, sorry. So, then you have your mesh back, but the symmetry stays on this position. Okay. So you can change now to radial symmetry, for example, and uh, use a clay tool and here brush with radial symmetry on this position. So if you want to change it uh, to another position, for example, on the top here, Insert, use uh, the cylinder here, sorry, something went wrong. Insert, cylinder, okay. Check the symmetry, it's okay. Select first the main object and then the cylinder and then join it. Then press separate so you can choose the cylinder and the group node delete it and here here you can use now your symmetry at this position so when you activate the symmetry menu and here's the pin option you see uh, the the position of your radial symmetry. So ah yeah, there you have to be careful at this position here. It's um, yeah, bring it, bring it down to the surface. It's better. So now um, join. And you can separate, delete the rest, and then clay here. I think I need a bigger radius. Okay, I hope you understand. So the next thing is here, um, when you use um, so something like a tube and you create a, 
such a path and I validate this object and you want the symmetry here so use insert and now you can use here a sphere and insert it here something like this you can validate and check your symmetry it's okay so you see here this is the direction of the yeah of the sphere and you can bring it a little bit inside here and then select first the tube sorry this one we can delete first the tube then the sphere and then join it and then here's the radial symmetry we have to activate the symmetry so now you can sculpt here and now it's possible to separate the object here select the, the sphere use the, the gizmo here place it something like this select the tube or then join Check the symmetry, it's okay. And then back to the clay brush. And then again separate sphere. So you have to check the position that's in that the ball is in the middle. Where's my clay? So that's so you can follow objects, uh, the path. Okay, I hope you understand and have fun with sculpting. Ciao.